Yo, JP Nation! How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. It's the boy Maximus Usual back with another video. And today we're diving into some changes into GG and Xian Li Yao's kit. Uh, these can be considered sort of like nerfs and also like sort of a buff as well. I don't know how to feel about them. Uh, so I wanted to like to share with you guys to see what you guys think as well. But before jumping into it, you guys crushed the 70 likes on the last video, which is insane. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be a bit hard with you guys. This time, let's try to hit that 80 likes on this video because it helps the channel. And also, this is like a challenge for the JP Nation as well to see how strong you are, you guys are. With that being said, let's jump right into it. Welcome back. All right, so this is um, the thingy on Reddit, which is Weathering Waves Beta Update uh, 1.2.4. GG's buff to resonance skill increase uh, basic attack damage multiplier by 18% for 25 seconds. Um, so it's going to be buffed instead of like 25, it's going to be 27 seconds, which is really, really good for the people that was summoning for GG. Um, buff, buff to weapon passive basic attack damage bonus while GG is off field will increase 52 uh, to 104% and last 25 um, second. So I think the percentage didn't change. It's just like how many times it's going to be lasting. Um, so instead of 25, it's going to be lasting 27 seconds, which is not bad to be honest with you. The extra two seconds there. Um, swap the S1 and S2 buffs. The S1 increased the crit rate by 10% for 25 seconds and by and by 15 uh, resonant energy when the resonant skill is used. The S2 doubles resonant liberation coordinated attack. Uh, this is, this could be like, uh, this is sort of like the changes. I don't know if it's considered to be a nerfs, like really. It depends on how you're going to be um using the characters i guess so um so instead of, instead of like if you get a copy of gg and you get uh increased crit rate by 10 percent for 25 seconds um and 15 resonant energy when resonant skill is used you're going to be getting a double resonant liberation coordinated attack um in the s1 instead of the s2 which is uh like i said it depends on your usage and which team you're going to be running her for um so it could be considered a buff or um sort of like um a downgrade or a nerf uh let me know with the guys in the comments down below what you guys think about it as well i'm kind of curious if you have like some sort of idea that got crashed or this is a good thing as well at the same time um, the second thing or the next uh, character that is going to be changing um, in the uh, next update, which is Li, uh, which is Xiang Li Yao. This is um, supposed to be a free character. We still don't have either confirmation or um, sort of like a hundred percent thingy. Uh, I'm eighty percent sure that he's going to be free, but um, I guys, I'll keep you guys updated once I know more. Uh, Resonant liberation damage nerf. Okay, so this is his ultimate. Um, so the multiplier on it got a significant amount of um, of nerf. So instead of 1,625.34%, it's going to be 1,332.78%. Um, First attack only, no doom post. That's kind of interesting. To be honest with you, when you see the numbers, it's, it's very like... Um, hard to see how they translate into uh, gameplay because like you want to like to compare them into um, other characters that got released and so on so you can understand like um, what his placement but I don't think um, being a free character or a possible free character he's going to be uh, OP or anything and he doesn't have to like to be compared to Jin Chi or Shang Li right now uh, because these are sort of like OP characters and and their their like place in the story is pretty high up there, so I think like he's going to be a free to play kind of friendly uh, character. I don't think he's going to be um, like any OP or anything, especially that he's free. I think he's going to be probably replacing um, uh, Kalshar right now, uh, in in a sense where he's going to be probably ten percent or fifteen percent better than Kelsharo. Uh, don't quote me on that, of course. This is just speculations on my behalf. 
Okay, the next changes is going to be change to inherit skill, gain 50% electro damage bonus when using resonance skill, gain 5% electro damage bonus for 8 seconds. It have uh, a maximum of 4 stacks. I don't know. Okay. So the inherit skill used to be gain 15% electro damage bonus, and now it's when using resonance skill, gain 5% electro damage bonus for 8 seconds. So this is. Um, so this is uh, good and bad at the same time, to be honest with you, because it, it's tax. So instead of like gaining 15% straight away, you're going to be um, stacking that 5% into 20% 20, 20 instead. But you, of course, like you need to like to do damage in order to stack it. I don't know how to feel about this one. Um, it depends on your like users, to be honest with you, and which team you're, you're going to be running him. In order for him to like to do four stacks or yeah we have we have to like to uh, see how it translates into gameplay to be honest with you all right the next changes is going to be the new s1 when using the resonance skill universal law so this is like his uh skill it will cause six additional instances of damage each hit doing eight percent uh, of the resonance skill original damage i don't know what this uh used to be but it's definitely like um, uh, a significant change, to be honest with you. Universal Law, it will cause six additional instances of damage. Uh, each hit doing 8% of resonance skill original damage. Interesting. Okay, the next buff is going to be at S5. Um, outro skill 170% in, and is going to be 222. This is when you get like a number of copies, if you guys don't understand or don't get it. Uh, Resin Liberation 100% uh, is going to be increasing 120%. So this is that's his ultimate and a buff to his outdoor skill as well by about like 40% or something. Uh, which is quite interesting to be honest with you. Um, nerf to S6. Damage Multiplier Resin Skill Law of Rains. Uh, it goes down by a significant amount, 24%, from 100% to 76% instead which is quite interesting. Uh, they really, like... I don't know if this is a balance or anything. Um, but like I said, like, like we're going to be seeing changes before the um, final version of the game because um, some of the comments on my previous video, which was uh, about Gigi and also, like, Ixing Li Yao, some people said, oh, my, my friend or um, I know someone, some people that play the beta and these are just... Um, um, these are just like server inf inflectuation or whatever, so that's why the numbers are are changing. And I said that's that's impossible. Uh, numbers don't change because of server inflectuations and stuff like that. I I feel like these are just like balancing before um, before the actual release of the game. And as you guys know, uh, gacha games um, are really hard or have hard rules when it comes to. Um, um, releasing the character and then nerfing it. So they have to like to do the balancing or all the changes that they need to be changing before the actual release of the character because that's pretty much illegal in um, in China, whatever the uh, origin of the game. So yeah, um, a lot of mixed views about these changes and stuff like that. Um, and of course, like um, it's oh, that's funny, funny. New don't don't post. It's exactly over. <laughs> yeah, I feel like yeah, the initial burst, like this guy says, is is kind of like um, changing, especially when it comes to exactly. Yeah, I don't feel I don't feel like these changes are drastic because they're um, they're pretty like um, small uh, and they're not actual like huge changes. But I think. Um, but I, th I think, I don't know, like, I feel like, I feel like um, if, if they keep on nerfing them in, in a sense where it's going to be, um, be affecting the future team that I'm building, I might, I might like um, turn, turn into saving into the next character that is going to be released in 1.3 or 1.4 because there is a speculation that Scar is coming or um, or just like summon for Shang Li to be honest with you because um, I, I've been testing her in the thingy and I'm very tempted to like to uh, just summon for her instead because um, yeah 
uh, I, I just like have to like to see uh, how it goes to be honest with you and and also like the um, changing that is coming up in the future and the leaks and so on with that being said let me know what you guys think subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll keep you guys updated if there is anything um, I'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye